Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a working helmet case inside of Minecraft. So as you can see, I'm currently wearing a diamond helmet. Now, I want to show my friends that I've got the most beast helmet inside of Minecraft and there's no better way to do that than putting it inside of a glass case. And that is basically what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Now, do hold on. I have a tutorial on how you guys can build this at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around, otherwise you're going to miss out on this epic creation. Alrighty then, let's go ahead, let's get into this right now. So let's head into my mansion here. Now I do want to say real quickly, this uses no mods at all. Now there is mods in this world, I've got mods in the game. However, this does not use mods. It actually uses command blocks. So this will actually work completely inside of vanilla Minecraft. So the armor stand, armor cases, sorry, the helmet cases, sorry, um, are behind me right now. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at them here in three, two, one, kaboom, have a look at this. <laughs> have a look at these, these are absolutely amazing. So here we actually have a, uh, we have one of these helmet cases which has a diamond helmet inside of it and then we have another one over here which has a gold helmet and I'm showcasing these off because these are absolutely beast uh, helmets here. This one's got an enchant on it I'm pretty sure and uh, uh, this is just a normal one but I just feel like gold helmets look really really cool because not many people wear gold armor inside of Minecraft here. Um, but as you can see, the helmet there is actually rotating as well. So it will actually spin around uh, clockwise and uh, showcase the whole entire thing off um, to your friends. Now a cool thing about this as well is you can actually put any sort of custom headwear inside of there. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this helmet out. Now how do you actually do that? Well it's very simple. All you've got to do is, is actually break the glass here. So just break it like that. You can then go ahead, grab it out like so. I know it seems a little bit weird, but you go ahead, press this button down here, and it will replace the glass, and uh, pretty much, you know, it's back to normal. Then if you if you want to put it back in, all you simply have to do is break the glass again, put it inside of there, and just press the button again, and it will replace the glass. Very, very simple. But let's go ahead, let's see what this looks like if we actually place something else inside of there. So let's grab out, I think you can put a pumpkin head on in here. Hold up, let's grab that again. Put a pumpkin head in there and have a look at that. <laughs> We've got a pumpkin head spinning around here inside of the glass case. That is absolutely amazing. And of course, this will work with anything as well. So we don't even have to do that. We could even do one of these mob heads. So we can do a mob head if we want to. Uh, maybe not the dragon, but we'll have a look what the dragon looks like just for, just for the fun of it. Let's grab out a creeper head, maybe a uh, wither skeleton. This will be cool to um, check out here. So let's place. Let's do the. Let's do the creeper first. <laughs> that looks so cool. Have a look at that. I love that. Uh, let's get the uh, wither skeleton going in here. So that's the wither skeleton. Again, really, really cool. Now let's test out the dragon head. This one's going to be a little bit weird. I don't think this one. I don't think this one's going to work as well. But okay. Um, <laughs> I think the head is a little bit big for the glass case, but. Have a look at this thing. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> this thing is spinning around. It's going to be looking at us in a second here. Hello, hello dragon. <laughs> oh wow, that is, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Imagine having this inside of the glass case. Your friends would probably think you're really weird if you had this inside your house. I don't know why. I think they'll think you're weird. But let's go ahead, let's pop the helmet actually back inside of here. And then just put that back like that. Now, if you're wondering what these are, this is just a part of a mod. But this thing here is, works entirely in vanilla. And as I said, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually build this. So make sure you stick around. Now, if you're wondering what these swords are, this is just a mod. I thought I would just clear that up just in case you guys are getting confused there. Because this here is just purely command blocks, which works in vanilla Minecraft. So no mods at all. Um, but yeah, this is just some extra decoration. However, I suggest you guys go check out the video where I actually looked at that because it adds in some really, really awesome stuff. So you can place normal, you know, vanilla items and uh, you can place them on the ground. <laughs> it's really, really cool. What I want to do is show you guys how easy it is to actually build one of these. So you'll be able to do this in your own world when I show you guys how you can actually set up these uh, armor stands. Uh, sorry, when you actually 
when you're actually able to uh, set up these uh, helmet cases, I mean. And let's go ahead, let's grab out an armor stand here so it's very very easy and I wanted to make it a very easy process for you guys so you didn't really get so you don't get confused so we need to find an area where we can put this let's put one here I think this will be a good spot to do it so what you need to do is place down an armor stand so when you actually place it down um, basically whatever direction that the uh, armor stand is facing is uh, where the front of um, the case will be so we're gonna have the button down here and um, there's going to be the glass there. But let's go ahead, let's do this now. So what you need to do is grab an armor a name tag and name it epic underscore armor underscore stand. Right click here and then boom. How easy is that? And you can go ahead and uh, start break putting your you know helmet or mob head inside of it. Uh, and there we go. So, so simple. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to build this right now. Now before we start this tutorial, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button, snap it right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos and more epic creations, go ahead and subscribe. I suggest as well you turn on those post notifications so you definitely get notified when I post a new video. But let's go ahead, let's get into this tutorial now. Now I wanted to make this as easy as possible and all you guys have to do is copy and paste in one command. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually grab out a command block. So how you do that is go into your chat here and type in forward slash give space your username. So mine is Mr. Crayfish then space command underscore block. Press enter. Next what you need to do is find an area that you're not going to use because these are where the command blocks are actually going to be stored. Um, they need to be you know, running at all times in your Minecraft world so just find an area that you're not going to use. It can be on the surface, maybe we'll do it over here or something like that. So let's place the command block down. Now I'm not sure which direction this is going to generate at but it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead, let's open this up and what you need to do is paste in the special command. So you'll find a link in the description below. Uh, it should be the first link. Go ahead, copy all the stuff that's on that page and then paste it inside of here. Press done and then we're going to go ahead get a button and we're just going to pop that on the side there. Let's press it in now. And as you can see, the command blocks have now generated. We can also get rid of the original command block here. We do not need that anymore. So these are all the command blocks which make the actual um, armor stand work. So we're going to come back to my area over here and we're going to spawn the helmet case now. And it's very simple. All you need to do is get an armor stand, a name tag, and then also an anvil. We're going to place the armor stand down here against the wall. We're then going to get our anvil and we're going to rename this... Um, tag to epic underscore armor underscore stand. Now make sure it's in capitals and it also has the underscores um, in between the words. And then go ahead and simply right click the armor stand here and have a look at that. The helmet case has now been spawned and we can go ahead and uh, you know chuck our helmet on there. It's pretty much done. It's pretty much done. Let's go ahead and pop that into there and that's all just press the button to give the glass back and have a look at that we have we now have a diamond helmet inside of this glass here now you can create a ton of these if you really want to so let's go over here and let's spawn a ton of them so let's go one make sure you leave a two gap if you're building them next to each other three four and let's simply just give it the armor stand tag name and there we go simple as that now maybe you come to a point where you want to get rid of one of these armor stands. Uh, well basically the armor stand is actually invisible so you can't actually destroy it. However, I actually have built in a way so you guys can actually remove it if you really want to. So all you simply have to do is rename a name tag to kill and then if you actually go here, right, break that and then right click it, it will actually get rid of that armor stand so you can actually, you know, remove this and not have um, an, an invisible armor stand uh, just left there, which can be bad if you spawn a lot of them. Um, you don't want these all, you know, um, infecting your world. Um, and as you can see, I can actually build there. Uh, if there was an armor stand there, you wouldn't be able to build. But that, my friends, is going to end off this video today. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead, snap that like button, show your support, and I will see you guys later for some more epic creations. Some more epic creations. See you later. Bye. Arrivederci. 
All right. Um, I have chocolate. I have chocolate. You guys want some? You want some? 